And good evening. I'm Erin Burnett. Out front tonight, Trump's lies fueling new fears of violence. CNN learning there are growing concerns among law enforcement officials that QAnon's new favorite messaging and social media app could be inspiring new attacks in the wake of the January 6th insurrection. That app, called Telegram, is currently a hotbed of dangerous conspiracy theories and lies about the election, including the ridiculous idea. It's hard to kind of come up with what would be the right adjective for idea. Ridiculous works. But this is the idea, that Trump's going to be president again by August. Yep, here's another way to describe that, an absurd fantasy. But it's also on the former president's mind, because according to New York Times reporter Maggie Haberman, who is going to be with me in just a moment, Trump is telling people he will be reinstated by August, echoing the dangerously deranged ideas of some of his loyalists. It should be that he can simply be reinstated, that a new inauguration date is set, And Biden is told to move out of the White House. And, <laughs> and, and, and President Trump should be moved back in. All the evidence I have, everything is going to go before the Supreme Court. And the election of 2020 is going bye-bye. Donald Trump will go, go be ahead. back in office in August. Okay, so what did I say? Absurd fantasy, dangerously deranged. Well, that may be the reality. But the problem is, is that perception matters. And Trump appears to be not only buying the false message, but of course spreading it to the delight of some of his supporters across the country. And tonight, Trump is actually now laser focused on what he sees as a path to his reinstatement, which is the sham election audit going on in Arizona. Uh, there's already been three. So another another audit. Uh, this is according to Haberman. He's focused in on Arizona. And even now, there are more states now trying to uh, follow Arizona's path. Today, three Pennsylvania Republican lawmakers actually traveled to Arizona to meet with lawmakers pushing for the audit to get a tour of the fairgrounds arena. A fairgrounds arena. How appropriate where the audit is taking place as Trump is cheering it all on from the sidelines. Let's see what they find. I wouldn't be surprised if they found thousands and thousands and thousands of votes. So we're going to watch that very closely. And after that, you'll watch Pennsylvania and you watch Georgia and you're going to watch Michigan and uh, Wisconsin and you're watching New Hampshire. They found a lot of votes up in New Hampshire just now. You saw that because this was a rigged election. Pennsylvania's attorney general is going to join me in just a moment. Tweeting tonight, the Pennsylvania lawmakers visiting Arizona's sham election audit today are a danger to voters in both our states. In fact, these Pennsylvania GOP conspiracy theorists would rather travel across the country in service of the big lie than tell the truth to Pennsylvanians. I think that says it all. 